What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Mysore. So to pick up where we left off, uh, things have gone really quite badly wrong and we need to right the ship quite dramatically. So a very uh, risky attack on Calcutta has been launched with the idea if we can take the city, we may be able to force a peace with the Mughals which would give us access to a lot of our trade again. So let's try and take out this garrison. I'm hoping I can use my cavalry to knock out the mortars and then we can surround and destroy their infantry force in short order. They do have a lot of chaff though, so this could go wrong. We're trading with the Marathas again, but that's going to only be temporary until they fancy um, attacking us again. So let's put our guns to the rear. I want to see what we're dealing with first. Deploy a bit defensively. With an idea being they will have to move away from their mortars and that will leave them exposed. Yeah, backfire. The mortars are up front. Let's we redeploy. Redeploy over to the east rapidly, a bit further out of range. Yeah, I do have to play this real careful. Okay, so they can hit to there. I want to stay out of their mortar range. See if they expose themselves. They might still be in mortar range just. Okay. So we're now out of their mortar range. So, what are they going to do about that? Probably not very much. We might have to suicide run my cavalry in to knock them out. Because our artillery is not going to do much good. And it has to be my cavalry, because otherwise my ca camels would take too long. Fundamentally. Camels would not. Camels will take too long to get in and do the damage. It has to be cavalry. And their mortars are currently exposed. So if we knock out there. Actually, first of all, let's get our guns to, to attack an infantry unit. If we can knock out their mortars, this becomes a very different story. Including shattering their mortars and killing their general. We've got a good amount of Phylok on Populous, that's not what I'm worried about. I'm more worried about their infantry, but I'm hoping I can isolate and destroy their army fairly piecemeal. So start on the right flank. Start on the right flank, and as they redeploy, chop them up. Don't... Don't try and meet their line as a whole. Get the cavalry over on the right flank because they're more well, my camels over onto the right flank because they're a bit more mobile. Yeah, keep my cavalry on the move. The mortars are shattered, so they're not coming back. Their infantry are running towards us, towards our preferred engagement zone. So if we can knock out 
make sure my general's over here as well. They've routed already, which is a unfortunate. Because they will come back with a vengeance. Bring my cavalry along over here quite rapidly. They are fairly close to the edge of the battle map though, so there is hope. Yeah, there they there they go. There they come rather. more guns to attack that unit. Yeah, it's not impossible that they just don't retreat. Commit my camels. Do as much damage as possible. Try and make them shatter. Okay, they're a bit exposed on one flank. Try to jump on this unit, there we go, which we have done. You men charge forward into the 32nd. New men, make sure your all your fire will off is ready. They're shattered. Charge on into the 29th. Charge on into the 32nd. New men. They don't really quite know how to respond to this. Two units up towards one side of the battlefield. Push two units towards the town. These dervishes and native war auxiliary can hold off. Got a light cavalry to redeploy. We do have a potential challenge here, which is why I want my native troops to move, keep my general on this flank as well. To be honest, we're quite well stocked actually on this flank. So I've got two units of Hindu Musketeers pushing up against two units of armed populace backed up by two units of camels. Keep the camels pushing through their line so that when my Hindu musketeers are in position, hopefully their volleys can make their troops waver and my cav camels can deliver the coup de grace from the rear. You have to get into position first though.
There we go, so you men hit that unit, you men also charge up to hit them. You men get into the city as well. Very well, then this cavalry unit push up. My Hindu musketeers are going to charge this unit of armed populace and knock them out of the game pretty conclusively. These men are all going to engage this unit of muskets, get this unit of armed populace, get my guns to engage them as well. Might be able to make them route in pretty short order. Ah, oh, they ran past my guys. This flank is pretty soft. Got the cavalry to chase after that foot unit, or well, that cavalry unit. Yeah, no, that's an uh, armed populace unit. Attack and destroy this Dakili. Push my musketeers up again. Get my camel nomads to redeploy. They're shattered, it's only this unit surviving. I mean, you, these guys are going to continue to pursue this unit to prevent them from regrouping. So it's going to be Camel Nomads versus Armed Populace. Charge into them with my last remaining cavalry unit. There they go. Phew. So, this could go horribly wrong. But we've taken Calcutta provided not much of a bump in our income. If anything, we've lost income. But, first of all, Mughal Empire, chill out. If I give you Bengal back, will you peace out? Nope, apparently not. Very well, we do need to engage Oh, can I not build it because they're currently sieging me? Probably. It's probably what they're up to. So I can't build anything because we've lost our cot, which means we might have to just attack it this turn, even though I don't really want to. But we better do. We can't afford to not have the tax income it provides. So... Yeah, I'd rather... Uh... I'd rather do a bit more damage to it first. A bit more damage to the garrison, but we can't really afford to not have that tax income. Okay, so let's Okay, we're gonna push the enemy rear in a major way. Keep all the cavalry active too. We're gonna have a small unit of melee troops here. But really, we're gonna blow multiple entry points into this city. Wasting time, buddy. I don't like how you fired short, but whatever.
But what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when something's going on. So see you in a second, everybody. Just going to slow down time. There we go. See you guys in a second. And we're back, and you can see we've made a we've made a breach. So now we have to just assault. Assault in rapid order. Rely on overwhelming speed and the brutality to swamp the enemy defences. Fundamentally, this is going to be difficult. Very, very difficult. Because the enemy have a lot of troops and those, mor those um, mortars are going to cause real problems. What I'm hoping is that they try and push towards the front. We can whittle down their garrison through... We can whittle down their garrison through musket fire into the breach and prevent them from really wanting to... I mean, we did get some kills, but we don't... We want them to try and sally into our musket fire, if that makes sense. What we need to do is get some gates open for our cavalry. So some of these warriors, their job is just to run around the edge of the walls and try and just get some gates open. Ultimately, you guys all come over here. It's more likely we get this gate open. Ultimately, it's going to be just a really dodgy battle. The overall idea is if we can just try to maximise the number of places we're trying to get in, somewhere we will. Take advantage of screw-ups like this. Well, they've left the front door open. Because that's an awful lot of guys. You men hold Hindu warriors. Push along the front. See, if you men can run across the wall, secure that gate, that'll be huge, because then our camels can get in there. They're trying to countercharge us, that's their prerogative. Get our camels in. being mobbed by their militia, unfortunately. Keep trying to cut down their militia. That's not going to be great. Ideally, I want to try and get a unit in here to attack the mortars, but I'm not going to get that, I don't think. Camels are doing number on the enemy. Okay, now is the time we push through the centre, maybe? Maybe. 
these Hindu warriors are doing a number on the enemy militia here. You guys are going to clear out this quadrant. Given my cavalry orders just to run in. Hindu musketeers have bailed. My mus my cavalrymen are still involved. A trading fire with that unit of militia on the wall. Let's charge along the wall here because we've got a local advantage. Looks like Okay, now you guys have to get in. Let's get my general in here as well. Everyone has to come back into the mix when they've routed. Knock out the 2nd Regiment of Colonial Militia. Fortunately, the 18th Regiment's really managing to hold ground here. You guys have got some messed up priorities trying to attack here. Get our cavalry in. How many men have you got? You're still in quite good nick. Continue to push along the walls and knock out the enemy. You men get back to the breach. You men are trying to cut through the Hessian line. Too bad that you guys are routed. Attack the Colonial Militia. Both of these units are wavering. Field Artillery and the other unit. Crack through the Hessian line. Yeah, those mortars are still not very useful. So ideally, I want to try to get... someone try and run through this line. There's a Bowman Auxiliary unit. Run, try run straight through them. You're going to hate it. You're going to really hate it. I'm gonna, I need to try it though. Just to knock out the mortars at least one. You may knock out the 35th Regiment of Militia. My general routed? From what? Those Ottawa Scouts have really earned their keep. Try get in one more time. Those men have broken, which isn't handy. Good, my general's here, so let's charge him in. You men continue to attack the Ottawa scouts. You men... It's unfortunate the Coeur de Bois seem to have such a significant hold over the enemy. Camel nomads are cutting open the colonial militia. Okay, you men pour in. So you men charge the colonial militia. You men attack the Coeur de Bois. 
These men get in to engage the troops in the centre with musket fire. My general can also get in. This block of men is still fighting. Charge in as well, because it looks like the hidden the It looks like the enemy is not going to give them, give up without a fight. This Hindu warrior unit's done a sterling job. Charge the Hindu Musketeers in, but they're only fighting for so long. My general's bodyguard can't work out how to get inside, so he may end up dying, which would really be perfect. You men ignore the 19th Regiment of Foot. Get over here. The 49th Regiment have now joined the fray. These men are engaging not just the artillery crews, they're also engaging the general. So you men are going to come over here to fight against this breach here. This breach has been cleared. Ultimately, this is our largest concentration. We need to clear out these French militia quickly. Doing some good damage to their general and their mortars. I'm hoping our combined musketry can make them rout. These units, loads of them are stuck on the wall out here so they're not going to be as effective. You men just run in, just run past these troops now. They don't have the mass they need. Some of them can slow, stay back. Get my general over here. Ignore these men on the ignore these men on the walls completely. Hindu warriors hack their way through the enemy. The 13th Dakil attack the 6th. The 14th is still holding them at the gate. You men keep attacking the 49th. Okay, the mortar garrison. Okay, you men form a musket line and engage the enemy. Hindu musketeers attack the mortars. My elephants. Get your elephant guns ready. Take out that general. Hindu warriors push off the point. Musketeers continue to attack the troops in the garrison. You men. Counter charge the militia. So you men charge that unit of militia with your elephant powers. These Hindu warriors attack the native auxiliary. Musketeers just form up and shoot that guy rather than try and combat him. Should really try and kill that general. Finally, wide, some widespread breaking. Good, the gunners abandoned the square. All that's left are the native auxiliary units. God, that was very close. 
That was very, very close. Yeesh. Fortunately, it ended with our victory. Whew. Took the territory back. We're now 2,200 in the green. Okay, right. What's the best thing to do? We've got some good. We've got a good amount of time here. Let's repair the, that court. Let's combine some of our units together because fundamentally, lots of our units are now just very low strength. It will it will directly reduce our replenishment bill. Still, it's still 3,000 replenishment though, because there's so many. Okay, let's replenish our line infantry first. You men are coming back. I'm going to have to push out to try, and, to try and win against these guys, but I suck at the navy. The new men, let's try recruit two units of cavalry in my sword to help mow down those chaps because we know what's going to happen. They knocked down the madrasa, but we did spawn a another imam here actually, so we don't actually have to rebuild it as a madrasa. We're not going to do anything with it for now. We're only trading with the Maratha Confederacy though, that's the thing. Although, it's because we lost our port. That's why. But no one's going to trade with us anyway, are they? Now we have to rebuild our trade. Okay, give you a technology. Okay. Trade. Excellent. Fine, I'll give you trade and I'll give you the same basic text like them. <gasps> no, come on. Technology. That, that. And I'll give you plug bayonets. Trade, technology, meh, meh, plug bayonets and carbines. I mean, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to give you everything. Trade agreement, tech, carbines, plug bayonets. It's so damn odd that so many nations just don't want to play ball at all. Huh, how odd. Hmm. Trade, tech, bleh. Fine, have a load of tech. Finally. 5,200, that's the sort of income we need. Although we're not going to get it all because they're going to raid Calicut. Peace, and I offer you excellent. So we're still not we're not going to earn as much money because that's quite a valuable region, but territorial integrity is freaking huge. And if we can get a couple of turns of reasonable income. We can turn this around. So I learned my lesson. Don't bother trying to attack. Don't bother trying to expand your colonies, because it's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to run out of... They're offering me money for a military alliance. Yes. I, I need to... F kill the Maratha Confederacy. I'm fairly sure once I kick them out of my territory, we'll be okay. See, that, that army's pulled back. They're going towards Bengal. Thirty-six hundo ish a turn is not nothing to be sneezed at.
pirates going go to go to work raiding those territories we just gave up. Workers on strike in Bengal. Peace out. You men. We're not going to replenish. I want to see if I can get a... Okay. They want 380 gold for trade. Absolutely. You can have that. We build the military governor's encampment. We need to just replenish. That's what we need to do. I mean, really, we need to free, free up that port, which, to be honest, I could just build a bunch of cheap ships and then start to swamp them, which might not be a bad idea. I'm hoping you were going to try and attack the Mughals up towards Cuttack. That's what I want you to do. Ultimately, if they come at us here in Calcutta, we want to abandon Calcutta. It's only worth 200, and that's a lot. To be honest, I might abandon it now. It's only worth 200, plus nothing in trade. Whereas the troops are much more useful on my immediate front line. The new men can join up with the sloop that's going to be built in Calicut. Then we can sail and attack this force here. The new men can combine. There'll be a few strong armies. We can attack Satara, Hyderabad and hold this territory to the east. Phew, okay. Morally impaired, eh? Bankruptcies made my people sad, but we're going to get rid of them. Okay, that was quite strenuous. Really quite strenuous. I'm fine with them lands. I'm glad they're moving their troops up towards Bengal. That's as long as they're away from me, I don't care. As long as they're away from me, they can do what they like. I need to build my strength and just smash straight into them straight into the Maratha Confederacy. Your but balance the investment. So you've got two sloops are gonna support my three fifths plus a sloop. I mean, I know you guys are looking, are looking at that going, that should be really easy. Do not underestimate my suckiness. Craft workshop is probably not a bad purchase. Although I'm probably going to actually build two Jebex. They're a bit cheaper. And then do a bit of replenishment on a couple of these units. Then drop a craft workshop. Workers have rioted in Bengal. Okay, exempt them from tax just to keep them alive and a threat to the Mughal Empire. And also demolish all of their buildings. Or I doubt I'll, I doubt they'll get away with it. But what if I give you trade? And I offer Bengal to the Ottomans. Ho 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 ho! Bad luck, Mughals. Now the Ottomans have it. 
Excellent. 6,200 from trade. And a lucrative trade trade route where the Ottomans is secured. That's good news. Yes, me, Lord. So All you right. men... Your Majesty. ...can take most of the troops that recaptured our cot. Probably spend a bit of cash replenishing what we can here. Oh, 6200, that's not a bad number. If we knock out that Mur that Mughal fleet, it'll be even better. And if we push successfully into the Maratha territory, it'll be even better again. Whoop. The Dutch have pushed back against the French, and they've taken Brussels. I'm going to have to cancel their military access, because I do not like them running near my... <gasps> they've left the port of their own volition to go raid the Marathas, or secure their own port, or move troops. They're at sea, though, so we can combine our fleets to go and attack them, but that's now given us some excellent breathing space and an opportunity to, to destroy a Mughal stack at sea. Portugal sailing troops into the Med. Oh, my fifth rate in um, uh, Ceylon will be recruited now. Good stuff. Okay, Marathas, they're not going to like me because I'm about to immediately cancel the one thing they wanted for peace or trade. I forget which. Flying Shuttle gives us a bit of extra income. Diplomacy. Actually, we didn't get much income from this being opened up again. Huh. Okay, so. Four fifths. I mean, ultimately, this this is a battle. I, like I said, I know you guys have been looking at going, how do you? how can you not win? But I am hella lame. So, cancel military access. Just because I don't want them to have military access. Pick a few more troops in each army I want to. It's going to take up a big chunk of change. Ultimately, I want you guys to fall back, ideally to Satara. But what I need to do is take these fifth rates out, plus all of you guys out, and go and attack that Mughal fleet. Let's go take them out. Then what will probably happen is I will keep the fifths, and I will sell the rest to cover repairs because this is undoubtedly not going to go exactly the way I want it to okay something like that okay there's the enemy fleet yeah, the bulk of their fort, the strength is in, the, is in these two fifths. Hopefully, we can knock them out in short order. Then the rest will fall. But because they're a good distance away, what we're going to do is chop the recording, and I'll bring you guys back when they're closer and the battle is joined. So, see you in a second, everyone. And here we are again. First hits against Carabay, the fifth rate. Although, it would appear that she is intending to sail towards our line. So let's uh, give her joy of the day. Here she comes. Go on, Nord Holland.
No damage done, really, at long range. But if she wishes to stay engaging at long range, then we will join her. We're putting out more firepower than she is, or than they are capable of doing. They've got one ship, we've got three putting the work in. Soon they might get two. Then we'll also have rows of tunis firing at extreme range. Try and make these guys flank. Ships firing at max range. Mocked out two guns, killed eight crew. But she's lost a significant proportion of her morale. And this Jebek, if they sail a suitable line, will also be able to fire at extreme range. Good hit there. Yep, Carabay is coming about. The Jebek can fire at long range, only a handful of shots, but still, more cannons firing into her bow. That's the word for it, not stern. I get them to turn something like that. You guys can keep engaging. It looks like the fifths are steering to get more into our steering to get into behind our ships. Carabay is looking increasingly upset. This Jebek, get ready to fire a chain shot. Keep the fire coming. Don't you know you're going to fire a round shot. Load your broadside right. Let's get my lighter ships to turn around again. These fifths go slightly further off axis to maintain their fire. Sad or anything, it looks like we were getting a good amount of fire into that fifth rate. All firing into Misuji. At long range. Looks like Carabay's just done an about face. So my sloops are now going to be in position. Start firing their handful of guns. Ooh. 
The Zhebek is on fire. So open fire on all these ships that currently don't have any objective to move. They're just they're stuck in a circle, effectively. Just fire the guns anyway. Concerned because their stern is exposed. You're going to turn to focus on Carabay. late but stay on a, on a wide axis keep peppering at these smaller ships with my own smaller ships stern of Carabay is exposed too bad we can't necessarily sweep in and deliver the killing blow that we would like They're picking on this brig. 24 guns. Iskander's getting beat about quite a lot. Problem is, is, we haven't landed any decisive blows against their largest ships, which we would very much like to do. I'm hoping to do though as we advance slightly closer and keep you guys now ready to fire broadsides into well you guys don't want to fire broadsides really Pivot you, see if we can knock out Medusa. Yeah, my sword's upset because of a damage to her stern. Not as much damage as I'd have liked. No, don't turn into her. Sorry, that was a big mistake. Want to manoeuvre to try to get in front of these ships.
fire as she bears. But Jebek needs to make, needs to haul ass. You guys need to keep firing broadsides into Medusa. You guys need to just keep firing at will into the back of Carabay. Load your broadside because Carabay's coming back with her own broadside. These brigs need to haul. Oh, they got to their final position. That's why they weren't moving. Okay, you both need to focus on Carabay. We have an opportunity here. No, not New Holland. Okay, pivot. Cut between them both. Or attempt to. If nothing else, my left, my port broadside is at full strength. Which I shouldn't really have done. But I will, this could work. And if I pivot you guys, you guys just pretty much fire chain shot into the Medusa's fifth rate, the Medusa's mast. Missed a shot to do a broadside, but I've got it back. Too bad that means their fleet's probably going to escape, but that's okay. Keep pummeling round shot into Medusa. Hey, they came back. Sail forward, keep sailing forward. Scander's going to pour a broadside into Carabay. Carabay's routing again. Actually, no, don't dispatch anyone to try and chase her down. Let her go down of her own. On her own. There's two of my fifth rates down. Excellent job. This chap managed to come back. She then routed again. Tune is advance. This one's in pretty good shape. Two. But I managed to miss the, the 
good broadside into her mast. Okay. I need to take out Medusa. Sighting. Ah, nuts. So the Zebek is on the move. Broadside left. All my fifth rates are gone. See, this is why I don't like Navy battles. Just try... Just try get on board, I suppose. Because ultimately, I'm probably not going to win... the boarding, because we're, we're equal and my morale is a lot worse. And now Zebek's going to pour fire into my ship as well. Ah, oh, damn. Just missed the option for broadside. Broadsiding. Ultimately, that was a, a bad call. This fifth rate is not going to be able to win. Those fifths are probably going to need to withdraw. Hehehe. <laughs> Snacky. I thought I'm not going to fight this battle, so I left. Both those units attack the brig. The Zebek is gonna. I just speed up time, to be honest. Almost a foregone conclusion. But yeah, it just goes to show I need quite a significant amount of superiority to have a shot, really, when it comes to naval battles. Because I'm not quite entirely sure what I could have done to make that come out better, to be honest. Because, like, yeah, all my fifth rates are firing at long range, but for whatever reason, they just seem to do more damage to me, even when I was letting the AI take control at range. I was letting the AI take the control at range, but still, it was going, no, 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 no. I'm gonna... Well, like, what I mean is, the AI was doing what it was doing, max range and there was nothing I could do about it because it just was how it was and then I was broadsiding at close range when I had the the guns that could do it bad luck there This brig to pivot. Try to put a tight little broadside into Medusa. Hey, you came back. Just in time to fire a lovely... 
Why aren't you firing broadsides? Okay, screw me then, I guess. Let the AI just constantly fire by its at its own on its own volition. You shouldn't really be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a fifth rate, but to be honest, as they're reloading, book it. Book it and use this Jebek for cover. Let this sloop at long range do damage. As much damage as it can, at least. Looks like they don't. You're not. You don't want to shoot. Which is a bit of a bummer. Ah, oh, Cara Bay came back as well. I thought this was gonna. This might end okay. I thought I might have a shot if I can make Medusa route. I'm like, ah, okay. I have a shot, but it appears that, look, my brig doesn't want to shoot. Like at all, look. Well then, leg it. If they're going to stop shooting for no discernible reason, then just run. But yes, that's an example of why I don't bother with the naval side, because I suck. And that Moogle, fl Moogle uh, army is going to be able to get to wherever it wants to get to. But yeah, I don't, I don't quite get what went super wrong. I was firing at range, or letting my ships fire at range, when broadsides aren't suitable, and then I was broadsiding the crap out of them when it was suitable. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to drop the recording and bring you guys back when the battle is over. So see you in a second, everyone. And the end is nearly here. But yeah, i I got to wonder how much of it is going to be a hard battle campaign, giving them buffs. So their fifth rates are like super fifth rates and there's nothing I can really do about it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, decisive defeat. That was quite a lot of lost ships. We kept our sloops. And their army isn't massive, but again, it does then draw us away from the front line that we want to fight over, because they're probably going to go for Ceylon. I was hoping they go for peace. Yes, me, Lord. Very well. Then I'm going to have to build up another army ready for the attack. Or at least have a third army ready to counter invade wherever these guys go. It looks like it's probably going to be Ceylon. Which would be kind of bad, but not the end of the world. B, I want the Mughal Empire to withdraw. So take advance. Flying shuttle. Good stuff. Let's go for social contract. Let's recruit a sloop to occupy the port so my bowmen can join the army. Recruit another unit of dervishes. Seven and a half, seven thousand three hundred. 7,300. I suppose we got more money because we now don't have a navy to look after. But we probably now want to, well, like I said, hopefully the Marathas pull back to their cities or to the northern borders, and then I can launch an attack on Satara and Hyderabad. That would be quite beneficial. Not quite. 
quite like that. I was hoping you would retreat more back to your cities rather than go towards the border. But to be honest, I need to attack. Are they going to go for Ceylon or Karnataka? Eh, if they want to take... Well, I was about to say, if they want to take Karnataka, they can. Uh, actually, they definitely can't because that will blow a huge hole in our budget. But we do have an army to the east that will go for the, go for him. This guy right here. So what I want to do is upgrade craft, spend some money on the craft workshop. Let's spend no money upgrading the school. You men go join the Goan army. You men go and attack Delia Suresh. Let's go destroy these Mughal dogs. It does feel like we're swimming against the tide. We're not really making the progress we need. I think, really, I just need to attack Satara. Because that then takes the Mughal Research Center and it prevents them from having a... Well, it takes away their most valuable region. So then they will have significant financial troubles. So we are aware that the enemy is mostly dervishes that want to come in to charge us so we're going to deploy our melee troops behind our line to counter and then we're going to deploy our cavalry on the flanks such as it is well there's a lot of hindi musketeers in this army maybe too many might even deploy a gun team in the line Yeah, their army is dervishes, 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 mercenaries, seat musketeers, bowmen, dervishes, 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 dervishes. Come on, nomads. They don't want to move. The second we unlimber our guns, though, they will move. Get my cavalry out wide on one flank. Get my general out wide, out out wide as well. Yeah, we're picking some holes in them. But yeah, I want them to I want them to advance so I can use canister shot more effectively. To be honest, I probably also need more artillery in my armies in general. Get my general involved because they scare troops. Commit my cavalry on the flank. Concerned because they're fighting cavalry. You men mob the dervishes, you guys push around the flank. Infantry counter charge. God, they sent they sent them flying. Hindu warriors get in. Native warrior auxiliary run around the flank. These little Hindu warriors to go attack the dervishes. I'd like my Zemindari horsemen to break out and go for the 103rd. Swarm forward like an unstoppable wave. These Hindu musketeers can engage the mercenaries as God intended. One of my cavalry units can break free from this battle on the right flank. 
towards the centre. The dervishes are incredibly upset. Okay, you may knock out the dervishes. You go for these dervishes. The bowmen are still around. So let's take... To be honest, go after the bowmen. I definitely want these units to keep attacking the units that are routing, and you're done for, so let's get you guys back here rapidly. My general's opening up on the mercenaries as well. Deploy a Hindu musketeer unit to fight against the Campbells. You may have wiped out that dervish unit. There go the bowmen. There we go. Then these guys will start to get engaged by my muskets. To be honest, actually, we want to cease fire, use my cavalry to attack their camels, my camels to attack their mercenaries. Everyone else break off, the rest of my mounted troops continue the charge. There we go, that's one last camel unit wiped out. Good. Everyone else is doing a real number on the enemy forces. Clear them out. Good stuff. Come on, knock out the bowmen. Come on, you're so close. Four, two, one. Got him! That's what you get, Moogles. You got nothing. Then my cavalry can pursue your leftovers. Let's see you men replenish, you guys replenish and get back to the city. Get two more units of regular infantry, then we probably, probably want to, well maybe one more turn, four and a half thousand though, where's that loss of income come from? It was seven thousand, wasn't it? Oh, because Prussia's being blockaded. Nice one, Prussia. But yeah, hopefully they pull back and then we can launch the attack. I want these guys to regroup and then push north or towards Hyderabad, although they might have to act as a bit of a goal goalkeeper against Mughal forces pushing in from the east. Oh, there's a... F oh, God damn it. I don't even have a good navy now. I've made peace with them, but France looks like they're going to break it. Ah, oh, France, don't do this to me. They only own they own just France as well. They don't own any other territory. I mean, they could be going for Bengal 
and take it from the Ottomans, which they might do. Okay, significant concentration of troops around Satara. Not ideal. I need more artillery. Okay, so their fleet's running away. Probably pick up more troops, knowing my luck. So we're going to get four and a half thousand. Let's hope that Prussia is no longer being blockaded. Which it isn't. A race book guy in a fifth ray. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough to stop me from interfering with you. Your army is from the Americas. So you men combine these reinforcements. Okay, you men need to try and bolster this army. You guys just hold ground here. If they're coming, if they're coming our way, they're coming our way. You men can start to build th another army, but at the same time, we do want to spend some cash on on fifth rates. One more turn to a social contract. Let's upgrade the barracks because then that gets us drill school, which gets us fire by rank. I think. I think Hindu musketeers can learn how to do that. Britain's now indifferent, so let's just make peace. They might, France might be going for Calcutta, but that's classic AI behaviour against the human, especially as they're not at war with the Ottomans. They're probably going to declare on us. But at least we've got an army nearby to take them out. I really need. Guns. We can get 12 pounders from our cart, but I'll just take some regular artillery. One more turn for social contract. Let's cancel upgrading the school. 5,000 next turn, that's pretty good. Meanwhile, France didn't invade us, which is positive at least. Spain just wiped out the Barbary states. The Ottomans are carrying on being Ottomany. Send one of your armies to go attack the Mughals, Marathas. I really don't like how they're massing. I need more guns across the fleet. Across my army, I need more artillery. With reinforcements, I could probably destroy those troops around Satara. It's a lot of men. But that's a good army. Relatively. Could do with more guns. <coughs> so if I march you guys... Well, then again, you are well placed yes, to jump on Hyderabad when it's available. Can't. Uh, I need guns. That's what I need.
you're gonna have to stay around here because I can't let these guys leave these guys loose. Or I could do the old switcheroo. No, you guys building up to threaten Hyderabad is good enough. I'm gonna keep my money. Yeah, religious unrest, they're 100% Protestant. I don't think that will tip them over. You guys might need to become, might, it might be worth building a military governor's encampment. But then again, we're not exactly maxing out our recruitment as it is. Yeah, you can only research grenades. Nothing else. Okay. I mean, this is the problem of chopping the recording so much. I don't know how long I've been going. Um, I know how long I've been recording this last segment, but not the whole episode. I've forgotten. <laughs> Let's probably give it a couple more minutes and uh, I'll probably call it. We're probably over an hour by now. I'm not sure by how much, but we're over an hour. If I can get more guns, that will allow us to more effectively sweep away enemy troops. But if I can push up and take Hyderabad, I might be able to force one of those armies east to try and relieve the siege. That would be the the goal. Lots of Portuguese armies, that's not good. They're probably going to send someone to try and kill us at Goa. Were I a betting man? Pirates trying to blockade the port of Louisiana, but they're just getting intercepted. Okay, let's get a school. We've been, we're way behind getting a school. Okay, so you have enough strength to threaten Hyderabad if we move on it. The guns need to go up to Goa. Three unit, uh, one turn of recruitment. Then we probably want to upgrade the rice farms at Mysore just to speed up village growth. Not that they are growing at all anyway. Ideally, actually, if we can keep them, keep things cool until we get the drill school and research fire by rank. Well, I don't, like I said, I'm fairly sure Hindu musketeers can learn fire by rank. Fairly sure. And the drill school itself allows us to recruit Kizzle Bashing Musketeers, which are great, and Royal Indian Infantry Guards, which are also useful. Okay, the Mughals have retaken Calcutta, so they're going to be coming down from here. Apart from that, though, not a lot else that can be done. Are they still at war with the Marathas? No, they're trading with the Marathas. That's why Marathas isn't attacking anyone, because they have... Oh, thank God, that's not coming our way. But yeah, that would be the reason why the Marathas aren't... That's why they're turtling, because they are not at war with anyone. Which isn't ideal. I want them to be, be at war with the Mughals, but ultimately I think I just need to move on them. And it's going to be very, very dicey. But I think... I gotta do it. That's why I want to get the artillery up there. To provide a bit of staying power and fight very defensively. Force them to use their cavalry against my positions. God, they're building up even more troops. Hyderabad's now more secure.
I need to, I need to hit them. I have to, I can't wait. As much as I want to, I have to do damage to them. Otherwise, I'm going to have to deal with a sudden Moogle stack that comes out of nowhere. Yeah, my income's slowly going down. Fifth rate, Jebek. With those sloops, could probably be enough to take out this French fleet. But realistically, I'm going to want to do... I'd want one more turn just to fidget stuff around. Start researching fire by rank, but because you're such a low level town... Question is, do I? I think I've got. I've got to do it. Hit Hyderabad. Call in their allies. Call in my allies. They fa failed to join me. Siege it, just to see if we can draw an army east. Because right now that's what two and a half stacks. So now the French are at war with us. And because the AIs prob would probably do a better job than I would do anyway, let's just auto this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cash in the. Uh, keep the galleon. So where are they sailing? Somewhere I can't realistically chase them, probably. Nope. Hmm. But at the same time, I don't really want to move them. Yes, yes, sir. Probably want to take out one of these horsemen, replace them with camels. And I ultimately, I need to just deploy it. I can't not fight. Recruit some musketeers to garrison our cot. With a couple of units of dervishes. That's what I have to do. And then let's see what the blowback is. No visible blowback from the French, which is nice. But yeah, we need to just start grinding our way through the Marathas. They're getting too strong. The AI gets all sorts of bonuses from being a faction with, even if they have no income, they still get a big bonus in the other column. Excellent. They've only marched forward one army, which we can engulf and destroy. But looking at the timer, it's probably time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next episode of the Mysore campaign. Cheers, everyone.